November 2009, we got a new president. We saw a miracle in the Hudson and the biggest movie of all time. And the Trijicon TR-24 arrived. When it comes to optics, six years is a long time. Just too much competition. So how well does TR-24 hold up? Let's find out. So that's the total weight of the TR-24 plus aero lightweight mount. Talk to any TR-24 owner and you'll find out that weight is one of the reasons why they chose the optic. As comparison, that's only slightly heavier than T1 plus magnifier setup and definitely lighter than the EOTech plus G33 magnifier setup. It's definitely lighter than the Vortex 1 to 6, so it makes a big difference for offhand shooting and general handling. To the controls. Even though the cap turrets are not as nice as some of the other more recent scopes, they're still good quality and click positively in quarter MOA increments. My favorite feature is this index mark on the top elevation knob that lets you return to zero quickly and to use multiple zeros. We'll talk more about that later when we talk about reticles. Moving on to the zoom lever is so smooth and clearly marked that a scope lever like an MGM isn't really required. Still, I run one so I can only see what magnification is set. So lastly, here's what makes the TR-24 unique. You'll notice there's no illumination knob. Why is that? Well, because the TR-24 uses dual illumination mechanism consisting of fiber optic for automatic daylight bright illumination and tritium for low light illumination. To further control loom, you have this adjustable sunshade which helps dim the illumination to make longer distance shots easier since the, the reticle is more precise. So we're finally talking about the reticle, its greatest strength and biggest weakness. Let's take a closer look. So at 1x, the TR24's large 11 MOA red triangle and bright fiber optic illumination makes shooting it like a red dot extremely easy. But shooting from a dark area into a brightly lit one turns the reticle black. Even though illumination is gone, you'll, you'll have no problem seeing the reticle. So if you're moving around in dark structures or using weapon light at night, you need to account for this. Sometimes I run a small mini LED by the fiber optic if I want to ensure constant illumination. At 4X, the TR24's red triangle becomes 4.2 MOA, sitting atop these long double lines. Unfortunately, they also serve to block a lot of the target when you're attempting to hold over. But I do have a workaround. 95% of the time, I like to zero at 200 yards for the flattest trajectory. But if I know I'm shooting over 300 yards, I can use the elevation knobs zero index mark and spin up to a 300 yard zero, 3.0 MOA in my case. So for anything up to 300 yards, I hold under. 200 yard target, hold under. 250 yard target, slight hold under. 300 yards, dead on. So that worked well for long distance. Let's work it at 1x so we can compare it against red dot. So the TR-24 is showing its age a bit, as others have already surpassed its glass quality and feature set. Despite all that, you'll still see shooters on the competition circuit and carbine classes still running the TR-24. So before you go down the red dot plus magnifier route, thanks to its lightweight, battery-free, and bright illumination and Trijicon repetition for durability, in my opinion, the TR-24 remains the best general purpose 1-4X available today.